There is another way to take advantage of poison without eating it. The anemones have such an efficient defense system that no one has ever found a vaccine to counteract its toxins and to live calmly among its tentacles. When a clownfish chooses an anemone, he can't enter it just like that. He would die due to the tens of thousands of micro stings received, and later he would be devoured. This process of immune adaptation is very delicate and somewhat painful. The question is allowing itself to be stung little by little in order to discover the exact composition of the mucus that covers every tentacle of the anemone. This mucus is what prevents the arms from shooting its harpoons between them when they come into contact. The clownfish copy the molecular structure of this protective shield and then reproduce it over their scales. Chemically disguised, they're not identified as a foreign body and the invertebrate doesn't attack them. However, the fish takes care of its home. And with great care, which is why they can't be considered an ungrateful guest. The clownfish's protection against predators is impregnable. It's better than an electric fence. Even the best hunters can't beat him.